Hello viewer, thank you for joining us. This is CBA News in Brief and we are broadcasting to you live from Hargeisa. My name is Yunis Deko. The President of the Republic of Somaliland, Musebi Abdi, today visited a private hospital in the capital Hargeisa that introduced a cutting-edge treatment for children with heart defects. President B visited the Gargar Metro Cardia Center, which in collaboration with the government, surgically treats children with atrial septical defects. That is a congenital hole in the wall between the two upper chambers of the heart. The president who was participating in the celebration of the first successful batch of heart surgeries in the country. The government has paid for the surgeries of the children that were treated since most of their families could not afford it. In a brief speech, the president thanked the doctors at the Ergar Hospital, which is in the forefront of the development in the health services in the country. He also underscored that healthcare is a basic human right that should not be subjected to discrimination based on nationality, race, or religion. President B. He said he learned that uh, from the physicians at the Gargar Hospital who had insisted on treating the enemy soldiers in Somaliland's liberation war in the 1980s. The president then had amicable chats with the children mostly under five who were successfully treated for their heart conditions. According to the doctors, they will lead a healthy and normal life from now on and their parents could not be happier. The Supreme Military Court of Somaliland has handed down a death sentence to a police officer who was found guilty of killing innocent man near Togwachale town in Gabile district. According to a statement from the Office of the Supreme Court of Somaliland's military, the court has sentenced one defendant to death penalty and two other police officers to 11 years of imprisonment. According to Somaliland's news agency, Solna, the military court sentenced to death a police officer by the name Yassin Mohamed Farah, who was 30 years old, after he was convicted of killing a civilian named Idrus Mohamed Dahir. The court also served 11 years of imprisonment to two other officers who were accused of being part of the murder. The other two officers were identified as Abd Nasir Mohamed Guled and Omar Mohamed Abdi. At least one Al-Shabaab militant has been killed following an airstrike in Al-Shabaab stronghold area in southern Somalia. In a statement, U.S. Africa Command said in coordination with the Somali government, the U.S. military conducted an airstrike targeting Al-Shabaab militants near Jilip town. The attack happened on Sunday, according to the statement. The military said initial assessment concluded the airstrike killed one Al-Shabaab member. Removal of even one militant group makes the region and the U.S. safer and continuous pressure on the network is necessary to prevent Al-Shabaab from building a safe haven and exporting violence, said General William of the African Command. The statement further noted that we currently assess no civilians who are injured or killed as a result of this airstrike. U.S. Africa Command vowed that it will continue to work with its partners to transfer the responsibility for long-term security in Somalia to the federal government of Somalia and its member states. The drones belonging to the U.S. military have destroyed a camp in Jilip town. Yesterday's attack is third in less than a week with the first one happening on the 27th of last month. The Forum for National Parties, led by former President Sheikh Sharif Sheikh Ahmed, has strongly criticized the U.S. Embassy in Somalia for supporting the elections of Ahmed Abdi Kariye, a.k.a. Korkor, as the president of Galmudug Regional State. In a statement, FNP said the NFP was dismayed by the statement of the U.S. Ambassador to Somalia, Mr. Donald Yamamoto, 
in which he unwisely legitimized a fraudulent and manifestly corrupt electoral process bereft of inclusivity. Horkoro's election on 2nd of February in Dusamareb was rejected by four Galmuduk presidential candidates, that is, the outgoing president Ahmed Duale Haf and the influential Islamist group Al Sunnah wal Jama'a. He was the federal government's candidate for the poll. The coalition of opposition parties further said the FNP categorically rejects the U.S. ambassador's statement and underlines that in doing so, he surrendered his privileges as an honest and impartial diplomat who leverages his way to foster dialogue among Somalis. The U.S. Embassy congratulated Korkor for the election win. Meanwhile, the regional bloc IGAD has called for reconciliation and dialogue in Galmuduk, but uh, stopped short of endorsing the election of Ahmed Kariye Korkor as the new president of the state. The eight-member East African bloc said in a statement following the conclusion of the elections in Galmuduk that there was need to preserve the stability of Galmuduk state. The bloc further called on all parties in Galmuduk to refrain from any acts of violence, resolve any difference through dialogue, and prioritize peace, building, and reconciliation. <music> Somalia's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ahmed Isa Awad, on Sunday expressed Somalia's solidarity with the people and government of China on the outbreak of the novel coronavirus. In a statement, the ministry said Minister Awad assured the Chinese ambassador to Somalia that Somalia stands with the government and the people of China at this difficult time as they work hard to contain the spread of the coronavirus, wishing them success in overcoming it completely. Awad has met with the Chinese ambassador Mr. Qin Chuan at his home in Mogadishu. Ambassador Awad discussed with the Chinese ambassador on strengthening bilateral relations and cooperations between the two countries and the two friendly people linked to ancient eternal relations. Minister Awad stressed that he is in direct contact with Somali students in Wuhan, Hubei province, China, where the deadly coronavirus has spread. Somali Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation said it is coordinating with the Chinese authorities and the Somali embassy in Beijing to arrange the necessary measures to provide what they need. The death toll in China from the deadly coronavirus outbreak that originated in the central city of Wuhan rose to at least 361 people on Monday as the Philippines became the first country outside China to confirm the death from the infection. That is all we have for you on this particular news summary. Thank you for being with me. Join me later on for a full news coverage from Somalia, Somaliland and the entire Horn of Africa. <laughs>